Well, after months of campaigning, Election Day is finally here. And Arizona voters will be heading to the polls to cast their ballots all day long. News for Tucson's Frankie McLister is live at a polling place, Temple Emanuel, in Midtown, where doors just opened about 30 minutes ago. And Frankie, uh, we saw a shot before. It looked like a lot of activity. Is it busy there right now? Good morning to you, Sean. To answer your question, I'd say it's kind of so-so. Um, Brad Nelson, the director of Pima County Elections, he's been doing this for many years, and he said historically 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. are the busiest times, but right now, I'd say we've just seen staggered people going in, people going out, maybe like five, six, seven or so. Um, but he said definitely there's also 90,000 people across the nation, Sean, that have already voted. So interesting to statistic there. Now, this is one of the 230 approximately po polling places in Pima County that I'm here at today, right on Country Club and Broadway. And polls are open from 6 a.m. They already have been open for 31 minutes to be exact. And folks, you have up until 7 p.m. That is 13 hours. Now, one thing to note is that your polling location, well, it may have changed, especially due to the COVID-19 pandemic. They have made um, quite some changes. So be sure to double check with the recorder prior to heading to cast your vote today if you're just waking up. Now, in terms of volunteers, the Pima County Elections Department, they just could not be thankful that they've just had a huge turnout in terms of volunteers. And I asked Brad Nelson, again, the director of Pima County Elections, about Brad, what is different this year? He's been doing this for 19 years, and here's what he had to say. Well, certainly the thing that permeates our lives everywhere is the ongoing pandemic. Uh, certainly individuals because of that pandemic perhaps have increased the number of early ballots that have been cast. But another thing that I thought has been most grateful is that I've been most grateful about is since our primary election in August, thousands, literally thousands upon thousands of people have volunteered to be poll workers today. And quite a few of those thousands and thousands of volunteers, I want to say there were about eight or so, were out here. I'm going to actually step out of the frame so you folks can see what it's just looking like right, right here. Just kind of, in a sense, I was saying all morning long, a calm before the storm. So it'll be interesting to see how things pick up. But as I was saying, those um, poll volunteers were here at the start of our show, Tucson Today, which begins, as we know, 5 a.m. Yeah, so it's amazing, a staggering 90 million people have already voted. Uh, what you've seen so far, do you see people walking in uh, with their uh, envelope, with their ballot with them, or just walking in to vote so far? Yeah, Sean, I'd say it's kind of like half and half, 50% maybe. We've seen people go straight in with that yellow, that I want to say that famous yellow um, elections pamphlet that they have or envelope, I should say, just going in and what they do, drop it off and come straight back out. And then we see uh, quite the opposite where folks that want to come and just do things as you know, usual, I want to say, and they just go right in, spend a little bit of time in there, and then come right back out after their vote has been cast. That's right. And no matter how you do it, it counts. Thanks, Frankie.